Hello everyone and welcome to Rob's Rogues and today we're taking a look at Hawkman from Mattel under the banner now of DC Comics Unlimited. We'll raise the camera here a little bit. So this replaces the uh, DC Universe Classics line and I guess I thought they were going to go with DC Universe Unlimited. Um, I must not have been paying attention when I pre-ordered my figure or I don't even remember if they had the correct title of this line yet. Um, they probably did, I probably just didn't pay attention. So this is Hawkman and this is going to be my final figure review before Christmas. I do have one more um, review after this one, or kind of a little something special. And uh, I actually shot that before this one because this guy just came in the mail yesterday. and. So when I actually filmed it, it was Monday, today is Wednesday. I'm probably really confusing some people, so let's just stop that and get on to why you clicked on this video. Um, uh, first off, from what I'm hearing from this wave and, and even seeing, uh, the DC Comics Unlimited and Batman Unlimited, I have yet to see in a Walmart, Meyer, Target, Toys R Us, any retail store, I have yet to find any of these yet. Now, I've seen them in my comic book stores, and of course, you can find them online, and I bought this one from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, this guy cost me 27 something something. Um, he is quite expensive, and uh, Mattel is doing these waves in three figure sets. Uh, the other two figures in this wave are the Flash and Superman. Uh, all three of these guys are new 52, and Hawkman is only there's only one per case, which seems kind of silly to do, um, or I guess that's marketing 101. You put a chase figure in every box where the other figures um, you can even look on Amazon or eBay or all those other places to try and uh, find Hawkman and he's gonna be the most expensive because he there's only gonna be one per case so uh, that's kinda crappy in my book why not just make kinda equal quantities but um, when I pre-ordered this I thought well was I gonna get the flash or was I gonna get Hawkman since I bought him because he was more expensive, and the reason I bought him because he was more expensive, I knew right away he's going to be harder to find. And if I don't pre-order him now, when I go to try and buy him later, I'm going to pay up the wazoo to try and get Hawkman. And I'll get into the uh, Flash a little bit later, which I do not own yet. But um, Let's take a look at the rest of the box since we were kind of looking at the box already. And we'll kind of get in here to... Uh, the back here, as I can get it in frame and not uh, totally destroy the camera here, this is when uh, archaeologist Carter Hall uncovered an ancient dagger made from mysterious nth metal. The bizarre substance became infused with his body, uh, granting him the gifts of superhuman strength, flight, and living armor. After fashioning a set of artificial wings to steady his flight, Hall took to the skies with a collection of medieval weaponry to protect, uh, there we go, to protect the streets of New York City. Fighting, <laughs> there we go, uh, fighting the likes of Metamorph Metamorphosis and uh, the Gentleman Ghost, rest assured the, bus the bolstering metropolis is safe under the watchful eye of Hawkman. Blah, 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 blah. A mouthful there again, Rob. Let's get the uh, camera zoomed down a little bit more and we'll take... As the camera slowly slides down, we'll read the rest of the bottom of the box here. It says, real name Carter Hall, occupation archaeologist, location New York City, powers, abilities, and skills, strength, and flight from Theraganian Nth Metal. If I, I'm pretty sure I said that right. There we go. So that is the look at the box. Um, I made mention in the Batgirl review that I really do like what Mattel is doing with these boxes. Um, so much so that I, I'm i kind of hoping I can find uh, somebody else, uh, maybe a Batman or somebody still in their box in a store. Because um, I just really like the box. And uh, this is uh, the artwork that you're seeing here, some Hawk, Hawkman number one, which I did not buy in comic form. Um, I didn't buy, start buying Hawkman until a little bit later. Now, in the comics, I've got him back here in a box. 
And the other thing about the box that I uh, do want to show real quick while I'm thinking about it, that they still have the printing on the back like the Batman Legacy does. So the whole inside of this box is printed. You says, look for more Maddie Collector. Um, I don't know if you can see the other inside in here. I've kind of got it folded in. But it says, uh, look more, look at, Look for more characters from Mighty Collector. There's all this other type of stuff inside the box here, which, uh, you know, Mattel didn't have to do that. That's extra printing that they're having to do, but it kind of gives you something else to look at in the box. And just the background of this, you know, like Sun Starburst is really cool, and it makes the figure kind of pop in the package. Um, that's a nice little extra touch uh, that Mattel has been doing since the Batman Legacy line. And uh, these boxes are just really striking on the shelf, even in your comic book store. Or hopefully, eventually, these will find their way to local retail. And I was going to try and do an unboxing, and I got to looking how Hawkman was in here. And he was really well uh, vacuum sealed, and a lot of the plastic pieces in here were over the wings. So it took me a little bit to try and get him out of this packaging. So uh, I'm glad I didn't do the filming of that because uh, I was kind of a little peeved on how I was going to try and get the wings slid out of this, you know, slit that you could see back here. Because the wings, you know, were clear up in here and it's it was a whole thing. So there we go. So enough rambling. Here is Hawkman. And I am glad I waited I had dragged my feet on trying to get a DCUC Hawkman and waited for this particular line. Because I think he is a beautiful looking figure. You can see the current comic that was out, um, I believe, a month ago. Uh, the Savage Hawkman, that's how he's listed on the comics. And they're not filing him, at least in the comic book store that I'm going to, they're not filing him under Savage, they're filing him under Hawkman. I just would have called him Hawkman rather than the Savage Hawkman, but you can see that is the current incarnation of Hawk Girl, and uh, I'll bring up my DC UC Hawk Girl to kind of compare. But uh, a really good face sculpt, and this is one of the few times where they give a fa uh, character with a scowl or some type of look on their face, and it, this one actually looks good, and it suits the character. Some the uh, Batman that we received that had the you know grin or not the grin but the you know scowl look on his face it really kind of made the figure look silly i think this one looks really really good um some new sculpting things a lot of the sculpting that is new is in the head and again like i said i don't have the dc uc hawkman to compare to but just from what i've seen or if you have a dc uc hawkman you can kind of pull him off your shelf and look yeah, but this is a whole new piece. I want to say this is new. Um, I'm going to go with I think that it's new. Um, I know that these are here and uh, kind of chintzed out here in the back a little bit. Um, actually not, I guess. Uh, they could have painted this in the gold. Um, I know for the most, most part you're not going to see that. Um, but if you did have the wings back for whatever reason or had him... I don't know. I guess I just would have taken the extra little time and finished painting that piece there because it does look kind of silly. But then again, Hawkman's going to be more like this on your shelf than he is going to be backwards. But um, as much as we've been saying with some of this Mattel product lately that they are putting some really good detail in, I think that's kind of a kind of a big one, I guess. Maybe I'm just trying to split hairs here, but I would have finished it. But the, you know... Shoulder piece is a new sculpt. The gloves or the um, bandages around his hands are new. I don't think any other figure has had. Maybe uh, Wildcat has had these. I'm not sure. And then the boots are new as well. So a lot of good, you know, little detailing. It's kind of a simple figure, but it works really well. Um, yes, it is a stock buck body. Um, but once you get everything else on the character, you kind of lose, you know, the sight of that. So I believe this might have been this, it's probably the same body for Batman and Superman and Hawkman and all the other ones, but still a, a really good representation. Now the, other than the kind of the stock body parts, the other thing that is 
brought over from the DC, you see is the wings for Hawkman and Hawkwoman. They didn't go through and re-sculpt new wings, you know. I could see on a manufacturing level why fix something that isn't broken, but still, um, I'm not knocking them for not, you know, if I guess it was my company, I said, hey, we have these pieces, it's Hawkman, we have the wings, why not just go ahead and, and use it? But, again, like Hawk Girl, a really good uh, wingspan, and he does come with two accessories, and like, um, I guess not like, I like the Penguin, uh, the Penguin is the only one that comes with accessory, and Hawkman is the only one that comes with accessory from this new line. So, so far, Superman, Flash, Batman, and Batgirl are the only ones that are, they don't have any type of accessories, but Hawkman does, and Hawkman does need some accessories. His uh, shield claw, it's a nice little soft plastic. can clip on over there. And this fist is closed pretty, pretty well, actually. But maybe I can... I think it would slide down in there. Um, I would kind of like to get it in his hand. I said I would kind of like to be able to get it in his hand. Look, I have to pry the hand open to get it in there. There we go. So there's that. Um, he does hold it pretty well. Um, that's pretty good. It's not going to come flying out because I kind of really had to pry the hand open. Um, all the standard DC UC articulation. Um, he does or would turn at the waist and I believe with the you know standard body he's supposed to but because of the belt uh, there he is a little bit I guess mine was just stiff he can but not very much at all with the harness that's on and he does have the ab crunch but again because of the harness he can't so um, uh, I'm not knocking it for that had they made him be able to twist and turn they may have had to cut these pieces and they might have then looked funny if you had him turned um, i believe for the most of us we're just going to have him standing or have him in a flight type of position um, the other thing i did want to bring up was hot girl from the dcuc and they look they both look really good together yes they're completely different universes now but I'm going to pair the two together, A, because I think they look good, and um, I've always wanted to have a Hawkman to fly alongside my Hawk Girl. And I do like that they are, you know, different looking. Um, the Hawkman would have been, from the DCUC, would have been painted exactly like her. So um, it, this does give a little different appeal and a little different look with the two of them together on my shelf. Um, and then I've got my brought my Gentleman Ghost out. And he also looks really well with the Hawks. So currently at the moment, for the new 52, the ones that I have are Superman, Batgirl, Batman, and Hawkman. So, so far I think Mattel is doing a really good job with these. Um, somebody had asked what these might look like with the... Uh, DC collectibles, so there you can see Batman. Batman in size and scale comparison with Batgirl and then with Hawkman. Um, not too bad. Hawkman is a little bit shorter than what Batman is, but I think with the right perspective by maybe moving Hawkman up a little bit closer on your shelf, um, it'll give that illusion that Hawkman and Batman are roughly the same size. So for the new 52, these are the figures that I currently have. I think uh, Mattel is, is at least off to a very good start with this new line. Um, I would say go to your local stores and check them out, but you're probably going to have to go online to pick up this current uh, unlimited line that they're coming out with. And right now, Hawkman is going to be one of the rare figures. I think Penguin is going to be the same way. So that is going to do it for me. Uh, right now so this is going to end it right before christmas and uh stay tuned after christmas because i'll have my year in review and as always this is rob for rob's rogue signing off saying we will see you guys next time